Hey Libra, welcome to the channel. Welcome back. If you've been here before, how are you all feeling? My fellow Empress. I hope you're doing amazing. All right, if you have Libra placements, this can resonate. All right, so only take what resonates with the rest with someone else. If it's not your story, do not try to force it to fit. Could be past, present, or future energy. Could also be someone else in your energy field I am picking up on. Let's get into this. One card to start Libra's reading, please, Spirit. One card for Libra. Just one card, please, Spirit. One card. Thank you, Spirit. We have manifestations. All right. And the Empress is all about manifestations. Although, um, so is the magician. <laughs> all right. So it, a bountiful time awaits you. Your wishes could manifest right before your eyes. So some of y'all are manifesting something here. Something that you got your sight set on. Something you have your intention set on. Spirit is saying that this could happen right before your eyes, meaning it could be coming sooner than later. All right. So be on the lookout for something that you've been manifesting to actually come to fruition here. Let's get three cards. What are you manifesting? What is Libra manifesting? Collaboration and marriage and self-love with sweet dreams. I love your energy. Ooh. so we have number 39, number 43, 45 and six. Those could be your ages. Those numbers could be relevant. All right. So we have satisfaction comfortable and lazy day so look i just feel y'all being completely at ease all right oh your energy is beautiful your cards are starting out just as beautiful as gemini's some of you could be connected to a gemini or a virgo um there is definitely a lot of good work projects coming up for you maybe even in business there's a marriage for some of you and it's all a result of you loving on yourself i love it it says uh, backup, unity, and enhancement. So some of you have a really good supportive um, team of people behind you at work. You could be working on like a major project right now at work. You have a good supportive team around you just in life in general. We have sweet love, couple, and dependency. Somebody you could depend on is coming in here. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Um, and then we have self-love. And this card says self-concern, self-healing, and independence. So this is why you're sleeping so good at night. You ain't you're not losing no sleep at night. I love it for you. Let's get some cards here. What's this collaboration about? What are you working on? Let's see. Okay. It's got the page of cups and we got the page of swords. Now, the pages are always eager to learn. Um, Libra, Christ, Gemini, this is your own energy here. Air signs with the page of swords. Something you could be curious about right now. Maybe some of you are in some kind of training right now. Could have started a new job or a new position within like the same company or something. I feel like it's something that you have a lot of love for, whatever it is you're working on. Let me get one more card. It could be an idea that you have. Yeah, the judgment card. Some well, of y'all have made a decision to follow your heart or something you've been curious about. And there are people backing you up and supporting you. You're following your higher calling. This is about following your higher calling. It's an awakening taking place here. Some of you could work in the legal um, you know, profession or you make decisions with the judgment card. Something where I feel like you have to be very... Um, savvy and keen to detail like you have to pay attention to detail you problem solve and this is maybe why you need like a second pair of eyes third fourth fifth pair of eyes okay let's move on because i'll get caught up in that Libra, that's your energy with the judgment major arcana your major arcana so there's definitely a decision you're making right now or have recently made here Okay, yeah, so marriage, look at this, y'all. We have somebody that you have a lot of chemistry with. You have a lot of spark and, and you know, um, this person could even inspire you creatively. This person could be younger than you, could be a younger fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Could also be someone who, um, they really motivate you. They motivate you to come out of your comfort zone. Um, I do feel like this is a person that could be someone coming from your past or maybe you reunited with. This is good news, though. This person... Um, Y'all got a lot of chemistry. Y'all have a lot of chemistry between the two of you. This person is infatuated with you. 
But unlike the Page of Wands, the Page of Wands is all about fun and like the here and now. But this person actually has gone from the Page of Wands to the Three of Wands. So they're thinking about long term. They're thinking about the future with you. Aries energy, because they are absolutely in love with you. Very strong feelings. This person wants to marry you. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. I love it. Okay. I feel like your relationship is going to be very fair. Your marriage is going to be very fair and balanced if you're not already married. Maybe this is just like a rekindling or renewal of love. Self-love. What's self-love? Oh, the sun. Everything is working out in your favor. This is why you have the sweet dreams at the bottom of the deck. Completion. You're just going with the flow. You let God take control. You're like, I don't have to stress or worry about nothing. I've done my part because I focused on myself. I'm my best self and spirit is going to handle the rest. There's a um, turning point, positive turning point. Lucky twist of fate. This is good luck. This is good fortune. This is happiness, success, abundance good money fortune falling into your lap like a windfall of money just falling into your to your lap out of nowhere winning the lottery going to the casino and hitting that jackpot <laughs> not telling y'all to gamble but yeah okay so this self-love i feel like for a lot of you um you got the sun there you are like really ultimately the happiest you've ever been Leo energy, Sagittarius energy, Cancer energy here. But you also have this love. I do feel like whoever this person is coming in or whoever has come in recently or just in your life that you're connected to, I do feel like this is a person who's relationship ready, will make sacrifices for you. Very beautiful energy coming out here with the Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands can sometimes represent somebody who's guarded and defensive, but no, not coming out with the Sun and the Two of Cups. This is a person who's ready to make concessions for you. They're ready for a relationship with you. They're ready for marriage with you. They're ready for this sacred union here. That's why you have this marriage card. They're ready to exchange vows and beat you halfway. This person is your other half. All right, y'all. Y'all know I could talk all day about these cards, especially when they're positive. I love it. But let me get some love messages for you. Oh, let me get um, a couple of these. Queen of Wands. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. There's somebody in your energy who's ready to claim you. This person loves you. They love your, um, they see you as their confidant. They love your confidence. They love your ambition. They love your influence over other people. They love how you nurture them, how warm you are, how caring you are, but at the same time, fiery. But your fire doesn't burn. Your fire warms, it comforts, it soothes them. They wanna like nestle up with you. Look how protective this uh, cat is over that queen of wands. This person wants to protect you. They're ready to claim you. They love that they can be themselves with you. They feel they can be very open and honest with you. And you love them for who they are. Like you love me despite myself. That's why they are ready to put a ring on it. All right. The world. Yes, you complete them in the tower. I feel like this um, proposal, if you're not already married or engaged, this proposal is going to shock you. This person is ready to take things to the next level with you. Be on the lookout for this very soon. It says it can happen right before your eyes, your manifestation. Some of you are manifesting marriage. Possibly already with someone or just in general. But whatever the case, it's coming. I do feel like the page of one, I'm page of swords here. Somebody watching you. Who has like a crush on you with that page of cups coming out with the page of swords. So for some of you, there's somebody watching you who's thinking about taking things to the next level. I feel them fantasizing about them. Let's get one of these love messages thank you spirit it says keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations and i do feel like this person may be younger than you and that could be a problem look at this children <laughs> it says your love life is being affected by children i really do i mean that's possible some of you can have two dogs you can have um a cat you can have two children um this person may have children you may have children maybe you're a little hesitant about bringing someone around your children i don't know it's going to be different for everyone but i feel like that card was just basically confirming what i just said this person is younger than you you may have a little bit of hesitation about being with this person because they're younger but they are not going to um let you go that easy they say you ain't getting off the hook that easy all right leave one more card for you we have nostalgia 
number 26 and this is moon feelings instinct cancer energy necessary detachment and nostalgia some of you like i said this could be somebody coming back from your past you're reconnecting with here for sure, maybe you had some tough times, you um, went your separate ways because somebody had to learn some self-love. Whatever the case, this is somebody I feel like you do have memories tied to. Although some of you, it will be someone new. You'll go on to make good memories with this person. All right, Libra. Um, yeah, those are your messages. Like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave me a comment if this meant anything to you and you, to you, and you found value in my content. Peace, y'all.